Uh, how's it going everybody? Gucci Down Toy here, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up Dream Tech Splines on a simple object in Unity for your Skater XL map. So let's hop right into Unity. Here we have our map. It's fairly simple. We have a spawn point, and we have some ground, and we have a cube. This is our ledge. I didn't make a proper skate park for this tutorial because I don't think it needs it. You should be able to do that at this point. So first things first, let's just set my ground up so I don't go through it. Okay, so setting up this box is pretty easy. Um, in this, it comes with a box collider, but we'll pretend it didn't. So first things first, let's go ahead and add component, physics, and you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use a box collider. This is okay to use a mesh collider for because this object isn't actually, this collider won't be doing any of the grinding. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna find our dream tech. Here I have it in my downloads. And you can just go ahead and drag and drop that into your assets. Now Unity is gonna give you this prompt, import Unity package. You can import all. You can also, uh, yeah, just import all. Okay, so it's in here, your dream tech folder. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our cube, right click, create empty. I'm gonna rename this collision. The next thing I need to do is create a grindable layer. So I'm gonna click here, add layer, create grindable. And then I also need to create three tags. So I can go ahead and come to my collision, click on tag, add tagged, and click this plus. And I'm gonna, my three tags are gonna be wood, concrete, and metal, just like any other time you're setting up a spline. Now we're gonna come back to our collision object and we're going to add component. We're gonna come down here and I'm gonna add a box collider. You don't have to use a box collider. You can use a capsule collider if it works better for your feature, but I highly recommend using simple colliders as that's what comes recommended by the devs and other people who use this extensively. I believe it is possible to set up custom mesh colliders with this plugin and I can research that and go into that in more depth in the future. But for the time being, let's go ahead and just use box colliders. So. There we go. I just set that box collider to this edge. It doesn't need to be very wide. It doesn't literally just set it to this corner that's gonna be grinded. The next step is gonna be the add component and I'm gonna search for spline and I'm gonna hit spline computer. I also need to come up to my cube, the parent object, whatever your parent object is and spline computer on that as well. Now come back to our collision object and I'm gonna go ahead and use the straight down view. You can do this however you like, but I'm gonna come up here to this plus. This is your enter point creation mode. First things first, I'm gonna set this to linear. You can use any of these depending on what you want, but linear is what I need for this purpose as it uh, creates straight lines. If I left it on Hermite, it, uh, it creates this Bezier curve. I mean, I'm not sure why Hermite does that instead, or Hermite, whatever, instead of uh, Bezier, but it does. Um, so I've added two splines that I don't want. You can come up to this minus and delete those. And once the minus is grayed out, you have no more splines. So I'm gonna click the plus. I'm gonna set myself to linear and I'm gonna zoom in so that I can be as accurate as possible. And I'm gonna create a point here at the start of my grind. And then I'm going to create a point here at the end of my grind. Now to end, I can hold right click and click click left click and that will exit out of spawning spline points. As you can see, I've generated this line from point A to B. That's exactly what I need. I also highly recommend having this place method set to surface. Okay, so now that I've generated my spline, I need to come up here to tag and I'm gonna tag this as wood. This looks like a wood feature to me. And then I'm gonna come up to layer and hit grindable use whatever tag is most appropriate for your feature. Now I can control D to duplicate this collision object and I can move it. But as you can see, it leaves the spline behind. To move the spline with the object, you need to come here to space, set that to local. Now the spline will move with the object. This is also how we use um, the object spawner plugin or uh, not plugin, but mod for Skater XL. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got a spline and a collision on each side. By the way, if these are driving you nuts, come up here to gizmos and either turn off 3D icons or just make them tiny. They piss me off, I hate them. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is 
I mean, that's pretty much it. Now I can generate these splines for this edge and this edge. Okay, so there's one more thing to take care of before we're done with this, with these grind splines. We need to go back to this and click on this button here. This is your edit point normals. And I can select my splines and make sure these are straight up and down. What this does is wherever this blue arrow is pointing, that's the up direction of your grind. Or the direction that your skater will be on top of the rail from. So just imagine that wherever this is, that's where your skater is going to try and grind it from. From here down. For instance, if it's like this, your skater is going to like try and glitch to the side of the object. And I can just go ahead and click up, set normals, and it'll put it right back where it needs to be. Most of the time these will be accurate, but if for whatever reason it ends up on a weird kink or something, it shouldn't matter. Okay, thanks for watching guys. This is just the introduction to this plugin. In the future I'll go over the details on how to set up the object spawner mod for Skater XL to be usable on your map. And I'm also going to go over creating these grind splines from our complex shapes. But I hope that this gets you started at least with the process and you can continue to experiment from here on out. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.